Chapter 19 The Avondale School Farm There are some things regarding the disposition and use of the lands near our school and church which have been opened before me and which I am instructed to present to you. Until recently, I have not felt at liberty to speak of them, and even now I do not feel free to reveal all things because our people are not yet prepared to understand all that in the providence of God will be developed at Avondale. In the visions of the night, some things were clearly presented before me. Persons were selecting allotments of land near the school, on which they proposed to build houses and establish homes, but one stood in our midst who said, You are making a great mistake which you will have cause to regret. This land is not to be occupied with buildings except to provide the facilities essential for the teachers and students of the school. This land about the school is to be reserved as a school farm. It is to become a living parable to the students. The students are not to regard the school land as a common thing, but are to look upon it as a lesson book open before them which the Lord would have them study. Its lessons will impart knowledge in the culture of the soul. If you should allow the land near the school to be occupied with private houses and then be driven to select for cultivation other land at a distance from the school, it would be a great mistake and one always to be regretted. All the land near the building is to be regarded as the school farm, where the youth can be educated under well-qualified superintendents. The youth who shall attend our schools need all the land nearby. They are to plant it with ornamental and fruit trees and to cultivate garden produce. The school farm is to be regarded as a lesson book in nature from which the teachers may draw their object lessons. Our students are to be taught that Christ, who created the world and all things that are therein, is the life and light of every living thing. The life of every child and youth who is willing to grasp the opportunities of receiving a proper education will be made thankful and happy while at school by the things upon which his eyes shall rest.